Welcome back everyone to my channel Young Brainies. The topic I've chosen for this lesson is the circulatory system, also called the cardiovascular system. Now, this system actually includes the transportation of blood to your body, to all your organs, to the cells and tissues. Every one of you knows that your heart pumps blood. But why is blood so important? Why do we need it to survive? Well, blood contains oxygen, which we really need to survive. Our cells and tissues need oxygen to make energy, also called ATP, which is an abbreviation of adenosine triphosphate. So going into deeper details of the circulatory system, we'll discuss the structure of the heart and the major vessels. Now let's start with the structure of the heart. Now our heart is divided into two parts, the left side and the right side. Each side contains two chambers, means four chambers in total. The upper two chambers are called the atrium and the lower ones which you can see right over here are called the ventricles now, now you can see in between these chambers there are door like features over here and over here these are called the valves the left side valve is called the mitral valve and the right side one is called the tricuspid tricuspid valve now these valves are door-like features which actually control the flow of blood. They stop the flow of blood going back up because there is a definite route of the blood to follow because if it does not follow that route, it could be quite dangerous. Now you can see there is a thick wall of muscle between these two left and right sides. This is called the septum. This thick wall of muscle actually separates the left and right side of the heart. Now, let's continue with the major vessels of the heart. Now, our blood vessels are divided into two types, arteries and veins. Now, arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood towards the heart. So, let's start with arteries. The first artery is the aorta, which is situated over here. In a little part of it is over here. Now, aorta actually transports oxygenated blood throughout the body from the heart. The last artery is the pulmonary artery. Now, this artery takes deoxygenated blood from the heart towards the lungs. Coming towards the veins, you can notice two tube-like features. Now, this one is called the SVC and the lower one is called the IVC. This stands for inferior vena cava and that stands for superior vena cava. Now the superior vena cava takes the blood from the upper part of the body towards the heart and the inferior vena cava takes blood from the lower part of the body towards the heart so that the blood can again be oxygenated. So the last one is the pulmonary vein which actually carries the oxygenated blood from the lungs towards the heart you can see four of them right here now let's proceed towards the most important part of our lesson let's start from the point where the, our cells and tissues take oxygen from our blood to make ATP. Now, the blood has no oxygen, means that it has deoxygenated. Now, it needs to return to the heart so it can be oxygenated through the superior and inferior vena cava. Now, the deoxygenated blood enters through them in the right side of the heart. Now that they are in the right atrium, they enter the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve, and then they jump through the pulmonary artery towards the lungs which you can see right here now there are structures in the lungs called alveoli which 
are responsible for gas exchange. The alveoli take carbon dioxide from our deoxygenated blood, and when we exhale, the carbon dioxide eventually exits our body. And as we inhale, the oxygen is then taken by the alveoli, which gives to our blood, which is now oxygenated. Now the blood needs to return back to the left side of the heart. It returns to the pulmonary veins, which are four over here. Now that they are in the left atrium, through the mitral valve, they enter the left ventricle, from which they jump to the aorta, and now the blood and oxygen are transported to the rest of the body, and the process starts all again. Let us move towards the key points that we learned in this lesson. We learned the structure of the heart, we learned the major vessels, and we learned the circulatory system. If you all like my efforts, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone for watching.